Okay, going to show you four easy scriptures proving that salvation is available to all and refuting the Calvinistic false doctrine of limited atonement. Because there's so many scriptures that do teach that, you know, God wants everyone to be saved, that Jesus Christ died for everyone, uh, that totally all of them destroy the Calvinistic false doctrine of limited atonement. But here are just a few, a few uh, four quick scriptures, I'll put it that way, four quick scriptures that totally refute the Calvinistic false doctrine of limited atonement and prove that, that salvation is available to everyone. Let's get right into them. First one, Acts chapter 10, verse 43. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. It's whosoever, not of the elect. It's whosoever. Romans chapter 10, verse 8 to 13. Another strong scripture there, Romans chapter 10, verse 8 to 13. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach, that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him shall, shall, shall not be ashamed. Not good reading on a computer. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord is rich, Overall, is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not whosoever of the elect. You see, anybody can get saved. It's whosoever. You, you, you notice that uh, abundance of whosoever in these verses. John chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. John chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Whosoever. The world. You can't get any more simple than that. And finally, John chapter 12, verse 46 to 47. John chapter 12, verse 46 to 47. I am come a light, sorry, I am come a light in, into the world, and that whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in dark, and should not abide in darkness. Not good at reading on computer. If any man hear my words and believe it not, I judge him, I judge him not, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Again, we see whosoever and the world. In his two verses there. Jesus Christ died for everyone. The salvation is available to everyone. The whole world, not just the elect. It refutes the Calvinistic false doctrine of limited atonement. Just those four verses right there. And there's many others too, but those are just a few I could show off on the spot. So anyway, don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.